Put on your goggles. It's time for another two-minute tech tip. Hi, I'm Bob Rubart with the Oracle Technology Network. Ever thought about entering a hackathon? Yes, sir. In this tech tip, you'll get some advice on how you can win a hackathon from Lori Pattison, Senior Director for User Experience with Oracle and one of the organizers of an ongoing series of Internet of Things hackathons. Lori, you're on the clock. Hey, Bob. We run a lot of innovation events, such as hackathons, design jams, and ship it, and there's some commonalities among winning teams. So I'm going to give you some tips on how to win a hackathon. First, have a great idea. Do a little research. Come up an idea that really with an idea that really resonates with you. Are you meeting a need that hasn't been met? Are you creating some new demand? If there's other solutions like yours out there, how can you differentiate yourself? And be able to articulate the value of your idea in an elevator pitch. I like to say, if you can't give the pitch in 30 seconds, you're probably taking on too much or the value is not clear. And because things don't always work out as planned, have a backup idea in your back pocket and, and a time that you're going to decide, well, there's go, no go. Second, do a little research. Are you working with new technology, new APIs? If it's a hackathon, probably something like that. Do your homework. Create a sample project. Figure out where the API might be buggy. Post some questions on forums. Just come prepared and have some questions for the experts. Third, assemble a winning team. You know, put together a rock star team of people whose skills and experience are going to complement yours. General rule of thumb is to have a good mix of development, well, duh, design and domain expertise. Lastly, and almost as important as your brilliant development skills, make sure you have a team member that can present well and articulate the benefits of your idea. When you do that, when you are done, practice your pitch. Most depressing thing for me as a judge to see a team that spends two days seconds. developing a great entry never get to demo because they're rambling on. Always leave with your demo and talk through the use case. I think we can sum it up in the bottom line is be prepared or have the force be with you. Let us know what you think of Lori's tip. Woohoo! And stay tuned.